Richard Holden. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my constituents have been hor in North West Durham have been absolutely horrified to see and read what's been going on in their local ambulance services. They have a right to know uh, what's, what's been happening. And can I ask the Minister that those bereaved families really have a right to know in my constituency and in that of my neighbours. But it's also crucial to know so we can get to the bottom of this and prevent it from ever happening again. Can she ensure and will she ensure today that her department acts rapidly on this? And also, crucially, will she also reiterate that NDAs have no place in our NHS because they go to the heart of preventing the positive change that we need to see and the learning that we need to see from mistakes? Mr. Um, I can reassure my honourable friend I've already had an initial meeting this morning uh, with the CQC, uh, uh, with the Trust, uh, but I will be uh, instigating further meetings after today. And also to say on the issue of NDAs, um, the, one of the previous health secretaries did uh, make a move to outlaw NDAs, uh, and I will be talking to the Secretary of State about whether we need to go further, because I am concerned we can't have a culture of learning and of disclosure while NDAs may be in place. And